Hi everyone, just a quick one today. As many of you would know, I've been a long supporter of the Australian Greens Party. I was very much an environmentalist as a young lad, but as you probably also know, I've had a fairly hot, cold relationship with the Greens of late due to their support of lockdowns and mandates and the like. But today I received an email which pretty much is the final straw. Happy Holidays from all of us at the Greens. As you know, we'll be at the polls in just a few months, so now's the time to rest up and relax after a tough year. Thanks to support like yours, we're in a really strong position for what may be the most crucial election of our lifetimes. OK, so far so good. With love from all of us, here are a few things to remember this holiday season. 1. Book your booster. As soon as you're eligible. Pfizer will be happy now knowing that the Australian Greens support their booster program. 2. Remember this sage advice. This Christmas, don't try to fix your racist uncle who doesn't believe in vaccines or climate change. Sit at the kids' table and radicalise them instead. It's more effective and lots more fun. Does that sit well with you? An Australian political party suggesting that we should radicalise our children? I think that's completely inappropriate and immoral. I've been a vegetarian for a long time, but I refuse to force my children to do the same. They can make up their own minds when they're older. Number 3. Masks. Even if they're not mandatory where you are now, they can still keep us safe, especially in high-density retail and hospitality settings. You know my opinions on mask use. I'm not going to continue repeating myself. But as an aside, there's lots of things that would help protect us from injury and death. Hats, sunscreen, helmets, smoking bans, junk food bans. Why don't we mandate these things for the general public? It would certainly save lives and reduce hospitalisation rates. Why is it only one particular virus that we have to save everyone from? Number 4. Solidarity with retail and hospitality workers. Patience and kindness will go a long way to ensuring everyone, especially those on the front line of enforcing the vaccine mandate, has a good holiday season. Although I agree that innocent people are being used to enforce immoral government mandates, this oft-spoken line that we must be patient and kind towards the enforcers is pretty much being used as a way to silence dissent. My opinion has always been the same. Stand up to tyranny in all its forms. Number 5. Give. Nothing says happy holidays like saving our future. If you haven't donated to our end of year appeal, give now to keep critical conversations with voters going over summer. Uh, no thank you. Stay safe and we'll see you in January to get organised and win balance of power at the next election. Your Greens team. P.S. Donations under $1500 are tax deductible. I know that a lot of you already knew that the Greens were this way, and I know that many of you tried telling me, but I wouldn't listen. I probably did know deep down, but just didn't want to admit that a group that I've been following for so long turned out to be just like the rest of them. I used to volunteer for them and hand out how to vote cards and the like, but I guess that won't be happening anymore. Old affiliations die hard, as they say. Anyway, the Greens want me to give them money so that they can encourage others to radicalise our children. Well, forget it Greens. You've finally gone too far and given me no option but to unsubscribe. To think they actually rang me the other day to encourage me to put them in my will. Forget it. You know what the Greens should have done? They should have just sent me an email wishing me a happy Christmas. But they couldn't even succeed at that. Instead, they politicised it and tried to convince me that conformity is good, something that the Greens used to be opposed to.